Good morning, folks. It was a relatively quiet day on the sun, but we do have one item that may be relevant happening just moments before this show was put together. We also have two excellent science stories to hit today, so let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star. No big flares, no significant filament eruptions, solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are relatively calm and stable. But right at the end of the sequence here, near center disk, you'll see a minor plasma blowout at the sunspot group. This will not be anything scary, but that pop where we are zooming in could have released a small CME, and if it did, it would be Earth-directed. I'll monitor the coronagraph images today for exactly that, in addition to watching for the return of flares. First up in science today, we go back to this one we covered earlier this year, the major snowstorm-driven breeding failure of seabirds. This was critical because it was a major cold event, and we had said, expect to see more of these, both of the hot and cold nature. We're now seeing the other side of the swing has taken a major toll on emperor penguins. Granted, this area is the same one where many scientists believe the underwater volcanic activity is playing a major role in sea ice loss, but alas, another swing to an extreme, delivering a big hit to an important part of the biosphere. Hate to see it. Top story today comes out of Frontiers, a large-scale review of solar forcing of the Earth's atmosphere that goes beyond just solar irradiance. They play politics pretty well in the paper, but manage to slip in almost everything I'd want to see, including that chart of the various mechanisms and pathways of solar forcing. By the way, the irradiance pathway through total solar irradiance, TSI, is the only one that is in climate models. And with this much missing, it's no wonder they don't give the sun the credit it's due. I will say that even this is kind of missing two critical elements. Near the top, the turning of the interplanetary magnetic field should be in there. And in the top-down forcing pathways, the global electric circuit is missing from the chart. Alas, it is excellent work, and when you realize that only the far right vertical is in the climate models, you realize we're in a rigged game. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out your resources below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.